Hello, welcome back. I'm Chad Hembry, and joining me here is Darlene Snyder, who is going to be talking a little bit about digital photography. Now, she is an accomplished photographer, and I have had the joy of seeing a lot of her work over the last few years, and I'm very excited to have her on here. I've actually been trying to get her on here for about two years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So welcome, Darlene. Thank you. Um, did you see my calendar? I no. Pictures. This. Oh, the emergency calendar. Yes. yes, you were telling me about this, but no, I had not seen uh, it yet. This has all my photography in it this year. Every oh. every page. Most of it was Madison County. There's a few shots that uh, was in Estill County, but um, I thought I would share with you about how um, I do my photography and how it's probably a little bit um, abnormal to most photographers. Um, my husband and I started photography a few years ago um, because we were uh, riding our motorcycle. And we would go to some beautiful areas here just in, uh, in Kentucky, mainly around um, central Kentucky. And I would think, oh, I want to take pictures. This is just beautiful. And I've always liked photography. So I started taking photos everywhere we went. And so I have a collection of photography from every place you can mention in central Kentucky. And so I know the, uh, the person that was putting this calendar to, uh, together and I contacted her, talked to her about it. And so that's how the, the calendar came about. Okay, now wait a minute. A lot of people have careers that spur hobbies. But what you're telling me is your hobby has spurred this second career for yes. you. Yes. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's <correct>. pretty funny. <laughs> I am. Uh, I, I love motorcycling. My husband rides. Uh, and I, I mean, I don't ride one myself. I ride on the back. Yeah. And I just have my camera on, and I'm uh, taking photos every second. Every time I see something, I think it's pretty, and um, I'll take it. If I get the shot, great. If I don't, well, if you don't I mind, don't. I'm going to put a scan of some of these photos okay. up, up uh, sure. alongside here so people can see them. Because I mean, I can show you here, but it's it, it's not the same. Uh, but this is beautiful. Uh, for those of you who, who are watching the show that don't know what this calendar we're talking about is, this goes out to Madison and Estill counties. This is. Uh, uh, the emergency preparedness calendar for uh, the Army Depot where yeah. we have all the chemicals stored there and and uh, this is one of the projects that they've done for what 10 years now oh, it's at been least. A while, yeah, yes. yeah. And each year they'll have different photos in it so this year uh, Darling was the featured photographer and that is fantastic. All right you brought some of your other work here too. Yes um, this is something I took a picture of in um, uh, Union City uh, here in Madison County and it's just a picture of an old house uh, that I've uh, photoshopped a little bit and, and enhanced the color and then put with a pink mat and it's been very popular um, but my, I'm going to tell you about this picture it looks like just a it's just a field right it's a nothing picture kind of thing I was actually on the back of the motorcycle driving down the road snapping shots and I got this one and another one uh, that turned out pretty good uh, I have a blog, TheMemoryWriter.com, and in that blog, I was um, blogging about high hills and tobacco fields. Mm -hmm. I grew up on a tobacco farm, and I hated tobacco. I hated <laughs> anything to do with working in tobacco. So, um, I was blogging about how I dislike that. I'd rather be in high hills than in a tobacco field. And so everywhere I would take a picture uh, of uh, a tobacco field, I would put it on my blog. And so I had on the blog several pictures. Yeah. This year, um, probably about two months ago, I, I received an email from UploadFilms.com. And in the subject area, it says seeking permission to use your photo, photography. This photo? This one. Okay. And at first I thought it was a, you know, junk mail kind of thing, um, trying to get your money sort of thing. But I read the email and it was my pho photograph that was attached. It was this photograph attached. And in the email, um, the person, John Portnoy, that, I was, um, that sent the email said he wanted to use this picture in the movie titled The Man with Two Iron Fists starring Lucy Liu and Russell Crowe. Wow. And of course, I still think it's a joke. But, you know, the more I check into it, it is a legitimate offer. Um, he um, replied that the Getty stock photo um, um, reimbursements for photos was $750. I'm still, 
you know, not really sure that this is a legitimate deal. And I just flippantly replied, I was thinking more like $1,000. The reply comes back immediately, we can do that. Then he wanted my bank account information. I said, no, oh, no, 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 you're not. not. You that. <laughs> I'm not going there. Um, long story short, they sent me a check. The check was good. And I sent them the photo, this photo, by... Um, the size they wanted it. In the, in, yeah, the, in yeah. the style they wanted it. And, you know, to me, this is not a photo worthy of... I would not frame this and try to sell it. You know, I never, never would have thought about trying to sell it. No, this. but looking at it, it does look like you're in the situation. So I could see it would be the background. Yeah, yeah. it and makes sense. Lucy Lou and Russell Crowe supposedly are going to be looking out the window of their farm or plantation, not farm. Um, and this will be the scene that they see. And it's just a brief shot. It's not going to be there. Of course, I'm going to buy the movie and I'm going to rewind or yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 until I get to it and see it. But um, yeah, that was that was just that happened just recently. I'm really excited about that. It's just pretty cool. Well, that is very cool. That's that, that's kind of honor too. Yeah, yeah, I was just you know out of nowhere that came, but that's that's the biggest thing in photography that I've ever done. You know, I work uh, full time in a full time job. Um, I attend church. I'm you know very active in the community. Uh, I do all kinds of things, and so I don't have a lot of time for photography. But this year I've done a little bit more. I've got um, I had pictures um, uh, at the Brea Art Center. I actually need to go pick them up now. They uh, have uh, uh, displayed those during Christmas mm -hmm. and they chose one of mine to go to the hospital um, for a show there. So I'm really excited about some of the things that, that's been going on with my photography and that, you know, it's just a hobby. Okay, uh, you had a few more. <coughs> we'll go through those and we want to talk a little more about the actual digital, what you do. Okay. This one, is, I, where I work in Madison County District Court, I'm in the Hall of Justice building, and there is a bell tower. And I went up to the bell tower. Well, there is a, a film over it, like a, I call it chicken wire. I don't really know what it is, but it's wire. And I zoomed in between the wire and got this shot. And right. it is a um, shot of downtown Richmond. Downtown Richmond, yeah. Richmond, Kentucky. I'm from Richmond, Kentucky. Um, just at, on Kentucky um, River. Okay. I just saw this man out canoeing and I took his picture. Uh, I call this the city squirrel, it's, uh, Richmond City um, Park. Okay. And he posed for me without any problem. A dog in Garrett County, Kentucky, um, fetching a stick. Did you just come across that or did you set that up? Did you throw the stick? or? Uh, we, uh, my husband, we had rode the motorcycle over to uh, Clear Creek in uh, Stanford, um, Lincoln County. And he had been throwing sticks out for the dog, and so I just started shooting. I took, you know, numerous shots of this uh -huh. dog, and this one was the best one. Was that? Okay. So, uh, EKU Stadium. I've sold several of these um, to uh, EKU Buffs, um, and uh, University Book and Supply uh, Store. Uh, Becky Cole over there is selling these. Uh, also out of her store. You should sneak over there when the stadium's full and take the exact same photo. Yes, that would with, be with full of people. Full of people. Yeah. That would be cool. Even Coach uh, Coach Hood has It's a of really those. good photo, yeah. Coach Hood has that photo too. And this the a shot of EKU. Mm -hmm. um, an old house on Grimes Mill Road in Fayette County. Okay, I've seen that house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a beautiful drive. It Grimes is. Mill. Uh, Grimes Mill Road is. Uh, if you want to go on a trip and take photos, that is a, a drive to go. Now my wife used to go play um, church, play organ sometimes as, as a fill-in at the Athens, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's an Episcopal church yes. down that road. Yes. And there's somebody that, that has uh, hounds on that road, and he walks his hounds on the road, and there's dozens and dozens of them. And she would be going wow. early in the morning to get to church early to practice, and she would always come up on the hounds that he would have to part them or get them off the road. Oh, for her that would to get be through. cool. Yeah. I like to see it. I think I don't think about that, you know, being in the way. I think, oh, I'd like to shoot those. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and this is just a, a scenery on um, Higgins Mill Road in Madison County. Paddy Wagon, I had someone request a, uh, a an Eastern student uh, was leaving town. You know, he'd been at Eastern all these years, and he was leaving town, and he wanted well, asked me if I had a picture of Paddy Wagon, so I went down and took one. Took one, yeah. So he bought that. Uh, horses over on around the 
Bethlehem Road kind of area. Yeah. And this was over in Garrett County. I love this picture. Not, you know, it's just a, uh, in the spring, the flag uh, in the trees. <clears throat> this picture is um, of some kittens that I found. Uh, and Round Hill Country Store. I just we just rode up on the motorcycle stop to get a little bit of gas, and those cats were just sitting there just waiting, sitting. <laughs> waiting there to be photographed. This actually is my husband and I on the motorcycle. Oh, your shadow! Wow. Shadow. Yeah, and we're in movement. Yes, that's pretty cool. And okay, like what that. kind of bike do you, do you ride? I'm just curious. Um, well, we have a 750 Honda. We have a 1300 Yamaha, and then we have a little 14, a uh, little 400 Honda that we <coughs> scoot around in local area. My favorite, of course, is the Yamaha 1300 because it has the nice seat on yeah, the back. Yeah, it's comfortable right. in the back. Yeah, I mm -hmm. feel like you know I I can move around a little bit more, and it's easier for me to take my photography from. Yeah, but his favorite is the 750 Honda because it's easier to handle. Well, yeah, yeah, it yeah. turns better. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I had a 750 Honda. Oh, so did I know you? exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is downtown Richmond. It's on Third Street. And oh, that's the Pregnancy Help Center. Is that what that uh, is? Or, uh, yeah, this is right here. This building. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and across it was what was formerly known as Opals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Third Street. This is a downtown shot that I really like. Um, it's just other buildings, and I played photoshopped on, on it and did a little um, poster like. Yeah, it looks kind of like a, an illustration, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just playing photoshopping on it. This one, a lot of people like it. It's a uh, just somewhere I think over in the Crab Orchard area. We were um, on the motorcycle in movement, and this is a building, an old, rundown barn-looking building that has this painted on the uh, back on the building. And this wagon was sitting in front of it, and just you know, click real quick, and they were yeah. gone. And that's what I got. You know, it's nice though. It's, I like uh, that. I'm thinking if we, you know. Sometimes we do stop and get off the motorcycle and do photography. Like I've got some really great shots of uh, uh, Owsley Fork Lake I love, uh, and some great photography down at uh, Will Green Lake. Okay. And we've got a boat, so we go out there and take pictures too. This is also on Grimes Mill Road. Yes, the bridge. The bridge. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's all I brought with me today. I have tons of photography. So. Oh, I know, I know. Well, and I appreciate you sharing those with us. Now. What camera do you use when you take? I, I use a Nikon 3100D. It's, okay. It's the, for the longest time I just used a point and shoot camera until I wised up that you can't do a lot with those pictures online and um, for printing uh, and enlarging. So I went to the 3100D last year and really like it. And I have, um, now again, I'm not technical, so I, I don't even know like lens numbers but I know I have a close-up lens for you know to zoom in on flowers and um, uh, close-up of people I have a uh, just a, the lens that came, came with the cal uh, camera a 1855 lens and then I had I just this year bought a um, wide-angle um, lens just because I want to take pictures of buildings. I like buildings, old buildings, and so many times you can't get the full building because you don't have enough. The wide angle, the yeah. The wide angle. Mm -hmm. And so I've just really been um, playing with that this winter or this fall. I just, I really like it. So I think it's going to be really handy on the motorcycle for some of the, um, the scenery too. But mostly I got it because I like to take pictures of downtown Richmond. I've got some beautiful shots of downtown Danville, Bull County, in Kentucky. And um, so I've, I've, I wanted to do some buildings. And so that's what now going to the Nikon, that's a pretty good sized camera. Yes, yes. And you were used to a smaller camera. Yes. And I wondered, it was kind of a scary thing. I had a, a small camera around my neck taking pictures constantly. And I wondered, can I really actually handle that bigger camera? on the motorcycle. Not a problem. Not an issue. Okay. Not an issue. And I the just, lens that came with it is pretty much the, 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 generic, the most common. Yes, the most gonna, common. Yeah. Yes. And I and I keep it on and then if we stop um, somewhere then I change lens if I want to get a uh, close up of some uh, flowers or um, bees or things like that then I will change lens. Okay. But I've got a great shot of uh, the um, falls 
uh, Cumberland Falls too. So. Now, did you notice that the shutter speed on that was a lot better when when moving and taking yes. photos? Is, yes. Is that yes. Um, I am try, trying to learn uh, the shutter speeds. I, I know, like for night photography, you have to have a slower shutter speed, mm -hmm. and then for a certain other photography, that you know, you should have a, a faster one. I'm trying to learn all that. That's just something I'm not knowledgeable of. I didn't. Um, but that's a good thing that you bring up because in today's modern high-end cameras, your Mark series with Canon and, and your and your Nikon, your high-end ones, even the Fuji high-end cameras, yes. you have all those options and you can you can toy with every little thing on it. Yes. But you don't have to. Right. They do have the very simple do it for me settings. Auto. Yes. You just put it on auto and yes. shoot. Um, but I have been playing some with some of the different settings and um, you know I don't know all the terminology yeah. but um, the settings are you know you can do a lot of different things with that you know that, that camera it's not a tremendously um, big camera but it's you know it's not the best camera in the world but it's not you know a cheap old camera either so it's it's just a good camera to have for everyday photography. So you recommend it. Oh, what, yes. what price range is that one? Maybe? Um, I think last Christmas I got it, uh, I think it was like with the lens and, and the case right at a thousand dollars. I mean it might have been okay, nine, that's about where I thought 980 it would be. or yeah. something. So this year that and see those cameras the, the thing the trick they do is that they don't really ever come down in price. They'll come out with a new model and keep the price up right where right. it's at. Yeah. Right. Now the camera that I use now is, is a uh, the S X series by Canon. It's the last step before you get into the SLRs. Ah. And uh, I really like it because I'm, you know, I'm not out there doing professional photography. Oh. But one thing I don't like is uh, motion. <coughs> oh <Excuse> yes. <coughs> Shoot. Anyway, uh, when you try to take motion photography, uh, it blurs so bad, and, and and there's hardly anything I can do to to make it better. I, I worried about that with uh, the um, uh, the. Nikon because I'm in motion most of the time when mm -hmm. I'm taking pictures, but you know where the where you can set it on um, the vibration and uh, you know the selection. There's selections for all that and mm -hmm. movement, and it it's been fine. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, one time I was taking pictures of horses and I was getting some great shots and looked and every one of them was blurred because I had not changed. It had gotten from um, uh, to manual instead of uh, on the motion setting and so um, I messed those pictures up because I didn't check it. Well thank you for coming on here and talking okay. about your cameras and your pictures and showing some things with us and, and I'll be calling on you in the future as, sure. as you learn more with, okay. with your, with your uh, photography. Uh, you do have uh, something going on in your personal life though that uh, that you may want to talk about just a little bit because okay. uh, I've been helping you some. Yes. Uh, and that is you have an announcement to make, yeah. Yes, I am uh, filing uh, probably next week, well uh, sometime in January to uh, run as uh, the Madison County Circuit Court Clerk. Linda Cates is a um, current circuit court clerk and she retires in uh, 2012 and I have been her chief deputy for 24 years, came in when she uh, became clerk. So I'm very familiar with all the um, areas of the clerk's office um, and what has been tried and what has not been. There will be a couple others running uh, in the office. For the office, so. Well, that's what makes the system work, yes, and that's fine. But we, we thank you for coming okay. on here and thank announcing it. Thank you for it. having me. Yes. And uh, appreciate it, and good luck on okay. your race. This has been uh, Darlene Snyder on here talking about digital photography. We'll be sure to have her back. Join us for another edition.